Hello, my grade 9 students. I'm so excited to start with you this lesson, Module 4B3 Grammar, Past Progressive with Past Simple, 4 Listen and 5 Speak. Students' book, page 43. Workbook, page 41. Learning Objectives Students will be able to 1. Narrate past events or experiences using past simple and past progressive tenses. Number two, respond to four WH questions after listening to four short conversations. Number three, respond to bad news and show concern or sympathy. Three, grammar, past simple versus past progressive. The time closes when, while, as, as soon as. Read the examples and notice the words in blue. Then complete the rule about the use of the past simple and the past progressive. Study these examples, 1 and 2, in order to complete the rule. You can stop the video, complete the rule, and check your answers. Number 1. We use the past progressive for the longer action and the past simple for the shorter action. Here we have was going, were going, past progressive. They took longer time than lost, past simple, started, past simple. Lost and started, they didn't take much time. What are narrative tenses? Narrative tenses are used to talk about past events and tell stories. The most common of these are the past simple and the past progressive. It is useful to look at these tenses together in the context of narrating or relating past events. For example, Ali opened the door, opened the door, looked carefully around the room and walked in. The window was open, and the curtains were blowing in the wind. Someone left before Ali walked in. We used past simple, past progressive, in order to narrate or relate past events. Past simple versus past progressive. Time closes when, while, as, as soon as. We use the past progressive and the past simple in the same sentence when one action interrupted another in the past. The longer action, we use past progressive. The shorter action, we use past simple. And in this case, we usually use while, as, or when. For example, here, as or while I was talking on the phone, the baby started crying. Started is the shorter action. We used past simple because it interrupted the longer action, was talking on the phone. The next one, she was cooking dinner when they arrived. Arrived, the shorter action. We used past simple. The longer action was cooking. Arrived, interrupted the cooking. Note, we use as soon as with the past simple. As soon as he got home, he had a shower and went to bed. B. Complete the sentences with the past simple or the past progressive of the verbs in brackets. Students book page 43. You can stop the video, answer the questions, then check your answers. Let's answer number one first. As Saeed was driving on the motorway, he got a flat tire. We used past progressive because driving is the longer action. Got is the shorter action. We used past simple. Number two. Fortunately, my brother was wearing a seat belt when he crashed into another car. The longer action was wearing. We used past progressive. 
The shorter action, crashed, we use past simple. Number three, while we were waiting at the traffic lights, a car ran through a red light. We're waiting. This is the longer action. We used past progressive. Ran through. This is the shorter action. We used past simple. Number four. Last summer, Brian was traveling to the south of the country when his car broke down. We used was traveling the past progressive for longer action. Broke down the shorter action we used past simple. Number five. Khalid was washing his father's car when it started raining. The longer action was washing we used past progressive. Started the shorter action we used past simple. Number six. Were you studying when your cousin called you? Were studying the longer action we used past progressive. And for the shorter action, called, we used past simple. B. Complete the text with the past simple or the past progressive of the verbs in brackets. Workbook page 40. You can stop the video, answer the questions, then check your answers. Now you can check your answers. C. Write sentences using the prompts given and the words in brackets. Workbook page 41. You can stop the video, answer the questions, then check your answers. Let's answer number one. As soon as the light turned green, I crossed the street. Number two. I was parking the car when I bumped into a motorbike. Number three. While I was driving home, I got a flat tire. Number four. As I was making dinner, the phone rang. Number five. I was walking to school when I met my friend. D. Complete the dialogues with the sentences or questions from A to G. Workbook page 41. You can stop the video, answer the questions, then check your answers. Number 1, F. Number 2, D. Number 3, E. Number 4, A. 5, G. 6, C. 7, B. 4. Listen. Students book page 43. Listen to four short conversations and answer the questions. Choose A, B, C, or D. Four. Listen. Listen to four short conversations and answer the questions. Choose A, B, C, or D. 1. What's wrong with everyone? What do you mean? All the other drivers are flashing their headlights at me. That's strange. Maybe there's an accident up ahead. Maybe I should slow down. Do you have your headlights on? It's pretty dark now. You're right. Maybe that's what they were trying to tell me. Probably. Number one. What should the driver do? The answer is B. Turn on the headlights. How did you know? Bridget, do you have your headlights on? It's pretty dark now. Alex, you are right. Maybe that's what they were trying to tell me. 2. Did I tell you what happened to me this morning? No, what? I was in a car accident. Really? Are you okay? Did you crash into another car? No, I was going down Fillmore Street and I crashed into a bus. A bus? Did you go through a red light or something? No, it was green. It was the bus driver's fault.
Number two, what did Gary do? The answer is A. He crashed into a bus. How did you know? Gary? No, I was going down Fillmore Street and I crashed into a bus. Three. Hello, sir. Can I see your license, please? Do you realize that you were speeding, sir? Really? No, I didn't realize. That's right. The limit in this area is 30 miles per hour. How fast was I going? You were driving at 45 miles per hour, so I'm going to have to give you a ticket. I thought the limit was 50 miles per hour. I'm afraid the 50 mile per hour zone finished about a mile back. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Number three, how fast was the man driving? The answer is C, 45 miles per hour. How did you know? Officer, you were driving at 45 miles per hour, so I'm going to have to give you a ticket. Four. Hey, you just hit my car. Did I? I'm sorry. This parking space is very small. Small? You could fit two cars in there. I forgot my glasses, you see, and I can't see very well. That's not my problem. Now, move forward a little so I can see what you did to my car. Hey! Whoops. Nice one. Now you have two angry car owners. It's not my day. Number four. How many cars are involved? The answer is C. Three. How did you know? Carl, hey. Bob, oops. Andy, nice one. Now you have two angry car owners. Five, speak. Student book, page 43. Now, talk in pairs. Student A, imagine you were involved in one of the situations below. Tell student B about your experience, explaining what happened what you did and how you felt. Student B, you see your friend, student A, and realize that something is troubling him or her. Ask what is wrong and respond to his or her bad news. Use some of the phrases in the table. Ask questions to find out more about his or her experience. The three situations, you had an accident, your smartphone or tablet broke down. You fell off your bike and got injured. Suggested answers. B. What's up, Steve? Is everything all right? A. I've had the worst day ever. B. What happened? A. Well, I fell as I was riding my bike back home from school. B. Oh, your poor thing. Did you hurt yourself? A. Yes, I grazed my knee and sprained my wrist. B. You should be more careful. A. Do you think I don't know that? It was just a really bad moment. Student A. I had an accident yesterday. Student B. That's so sad. Student A. My smartphone broke down. Student B. Oh dear. Student A. I fell off my bike and I broke my leg. Student B. How awful. Or how terrible. It is your turn now. Student A to tell bad news and student B to respond and express sympathy. For example, Student A. Ouch! I stepped on a nail. Student B. That's too bad. Student A. I have a fever. Student B. I'm sorry to hear that. Here is another situation. Yesterday when I was walking on the street, I slipped on a banana skin. Then I fell 
and broke my arm. Student B, poor you. Student A, yesterday I lost my wallet while I was shopping in the city center. Student B, I'm sorry to hear that. To sum up, I learned how to narrate unpleasant past events. I learned how to respond to bad news and show concern. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.